Hey, what's up? So this is a journey video whereby I keep you up to date on the progress that I'm making as I journey upon becoming a full stack JavaScript developer. And if you watched my first journey video, you'll know that I touched on working remotely. I mentioned that I was checking out these remote job sites and I'm seeing jobs here going for as high as $700 per day. There's, I've been itching to really learn this from the ground up and do a software engineering degree. And so I was playing around with the idea and I was looking into uh, doing a degree in the States, specifically Portland, Oregon, because I'm drawn to the West Coast. But when I looked into it and I added up the fees involved, you're talking twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year easily. That's probably not even... It's probably more than that. I had to ask myself, is, is that what I really want as much as I would like to just focus on learning for four years? Probably not. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going with Team Treehouse. I'm taking their full stack JavaScript developer course. So recently, I need to update this. I've been documenting my progress on my website. A few weeks ago, I completed the Ajax course and we went into using JSON and tapping into the Flickr API. And I've known of APIs, Ajax and JSON for quite a while, but I've not been able to play around with them because I've been focusing on making websites, not web apps. So it feels good to have a play around with it and to be able to say, yes, I know what an API is. Okay. I'm only a beginner at it, but I know that it stands for Application Programming Interface, and I know a lot more about JSON and what have you. So that's where I'm at right now. Now that I know I'm most likely not going to go back to uni, I've been looking more closely at Team Treehouse's tech degree, specifically, well, obviously the full stack JavaScript one. They have these real world projects. I think there's, is the 12 of them? I don't know, but I'm drawn to these four. There's gotta be over 130 hours worth of course here. There's another training platform though that's been brought to my attention, Front End Masters, and they've got some real interesting looking courses here. Check out this one data structures and algorithms in JavaScript. And there's this one as well I like the look of. It's, uh, okay, where's it gone? Four semesters of computer science in five hours. So there's a lot of, I think it's more geared towards intermediate and advanced. There's a React Native course here, which I'm interested in, and I'll explain why in a moment. So I'm going to be checking out that, but I am going to be completing this track on Treehouse. Right now I'm up to, I skipped the jQuery bit because I already know the ins and outs of that. Right now I'm on the object oriented JavaScript course. So how do I plan on preparing myself to go for some of these jobs I'm seeing on here, some of these remote uh, jobs. I need to build an app. I'm, I'm gonna build a React Native app. I've already built an iOS app and I've teamed up with a friend of mine. I built this website for him a few years ago. He's a fitness instructor. So the idea is you go into the gym and the app knows what you like, it knows what you don't like, and it gives you a program which is different each time. So there's that element of surprise, and it will give you printouts and graphs of your progress and encourage you along the way, that kind of thing. We haven't really sat down and spoke about the functionality that it will have, but we've shook hands on it and we're gonna be going forwards on that. So that's where I'm up to. In the next set of videos, I'm going to talk about how I plan to go about building that React Native app. 
If you do decide to go and check out Team Treehouse and sign up with them, I've left my affiliate link in the video description. So please, if you're gonna sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube and makes it more feasible that I'll be able to someday spend more time making videos and sharing with you the journey and doing more tutorials as well. So thanks for that. But that's all for now. Hope things are going well for you. It can be easy to lose, it can be easy to get a bit disheartened when you've not been spending time learning and you know you need to be doing it daily, at least I know for myself that I need to be doing this daily and I don't always. So a good way to get excited is to decide on a project, a real world project, preferably something that involves another person, maybe a business owner, because then you can vibe off of each other and just makes the whole process, you've got that human contact which makes it a lot more interesting and so this has really reignited my interest. If I'm going to build this app, I've got to be learning this stuff daily. So I'm going to be sharing with you other productivity tips that I use to keep myself on track. I'll leave it there, don't want to go on any further. Hope you got something from this and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.